Hi guys, welcome to Dead Man's Vapes. I'm Gaz, and today we are looking at the Joytech Ego AIO Eco. Bit of a mouthful to say. Um, that's the actual kit itself. Very nice green and silver colour. Now, the it's a bit of a mouthful because of the Eco. Now, Eco is a different mod that has been in. It's been introduced into a lot of new uh, kits recently. Um, something like the Joytech Teros, uh, this Ego AIO Eco. It's basically a mod where the battery is only firing at 1.85 volts rather than the the 3.5 to 4.2 of various different batteries now that means that the the atomizers tend to last longer the liquid lasts longer uh, the battery lasts longer but i'm going to a little bit more detail about that um, later on now the kit itself um it's aimed definitely at um new vapors that are converting from smoking you've got a very very narrow mouthpiece similar diameter to that of a cigarette um, now the actual kit itself it is very very tiny pen style um, it's only 14 millimeters in diameter to be honest um, but it, it is a nice kit i've spoke to a lot of brand new vapors that are, have converted from smoking um, and a lot of them tend to be going for this and it's a, a very very nice option um, it's cheap and cheerful um, battery's going to last you all day on a single vape it charges very quickly you're not battering through your liquid, so you're not costing yourself any money there. Vapor reduction. You get a decent amount. Uh, not too dissimilar to what you get out of a normal cigarette, um, but it's, it gives a really good flavour. Now, um, I've done a video before of the Joytech backpack. It uses the same atomizers as that one. Um, it's an all-in-one design. That's what the AIO stands for. So it's very, very easy to maintain, very easy to use. Um, and the flavour, I can't get over how good of a flavour it is for such a small atomizer. I know when I was reviewing the, the backpack, I wasn't the biggest fan of the atomizer at all. It wasn't for me. Um, this kit does it better. Still would say it's not for me, this atomizer. I, I don't get on with um, any variants of the BF. Um, but I, I am enjoying using this, to be honest. Like I say, it lasts all day on a, a single charge. Um, sometimes, depending on how I use it, I can get away with one tank of liquid for the full day. Um, and that, like I say, even when I don't, it's very, very easy to fill, very easy to, to change everything. Um, standard USB micro charge port. Um, and you've got a cool little band on it that says keep calm and vape on, which you'll, you'll see in the video in a second. Um, but yeah, it's one definitely aimed at new, new vapors. Um, but also existing vapors that are wanting something a little bit more discreet, maybe something small to take on a night out, slip in a pocket or a bag, um, or just somebody that wants something extra uh, as just as a backup. It's nice, like I say, it's nice and cheap and cheerful. Uh, but let's take a closer look at the kit itself. So this is the Joytech Ego AIO Eco. Now, we've got it in a very, very nice green and silver colour. Now, your box contents, you get one of the kit itself. You get two of the BFHN 0.5 ohm atomizer heads, one USB cable, one quick start guide, and all your spare parts and everything as well. Now, it's a very, very intricate kit in terms of technology, this. Um, it's very, very simple to use and very easy to use. But the actual kit itself has a 650 milliamp battery. Now, that doesn't sound like an awful lot or a big battery at all. But if you compare this to the older pen styles when e-cigarettes first came about, really, um, a lot of them were around 650 milliamps. And they didn't last an awful long time. Now, the difference with this is the battery is only firing at 1.85 volts. That's around about half what other e-cigarettes are putting out. So, in theory, that means that that battery is going to last you twice as long. Your atomizers are going to last a little bit longer. Your liquid isn't going to be drained and used this quick. Um, and the the vapor isn't a massive amount of difference, um, but it, the, it's a fantastic design. Um, there's quite a few kits going down this route with the Eco technology now. So for setting this up, all you're going to do is unscrew that top cap. You're going to pull your glass off can be a little bit stiff when it's brand new purely because that seal has had no use or anything like that um, once you've had liquid in there you've been using it a few times you change your atomizer you'll be absolutely fine with that and the atomizer unscrews straight out of there 
Right, it's quite a, a decent size atomizer. It's the same atomizer as if you've seen my previous video. That's in the Joytech backpack sig. Same atomizers that are in that. Um, in all honesty, myself, I wasn't a fan of those atomizers. Um, but I have used one of these before. Um, and I can honestly say they are a lot better in this kit. Um, personally, not a choice for me. Um, I prefer the higher powered stuff. Um, so I get a lot more from it. But it's still a very, very nice kit, especially if you're wanting to move from cigarettes into an e-cigarette. This is a perfect route to go down. Now, all we're going to do is screw that atomizer back into there. Very easy. We need to prime it up. So all we're going to do priming-wise is into the top hole of there. I'm going to drop a few drops of liquid. Now, I know we always say, you'll hear e-cig companies always tell you never to put liquid straight down the centre tube but when you're priming it up it makes it very very easy to sort the cotton in the centre then we're going to put a few drops of liquid onto the actual side of the atomizer, and then onto the other side as well so it just makes sure all that cotton is fully sorted in the atomizer before we intend to use it pop your glass back on and then filling it, we're just going to go straight down the side. And don't worry about it being a little bit out of place. It's something that we can sort out when we put the top back on. So we just screw that top back on. Very, very easy, very simple. Five clicks your button, turns it on. And you've got a light that's around here at the bottom. I know it's a little bit hard to see right now. Um, but basically, this is your battery indicator. So every time you vape it, that light comes on, goes off, comes back on. So a solid light like that means it's a good majority are fully charged. If it's slowly pulsing, it's around about half charge, the faster it's flashing, the faster it needs charging. You've got your air holes on each side of the mouthpiece there. They're in a better place than they were on that backpack. With the backpack, I found that um, I was covering the air holes with my mouth when I was using it. But with this, you, you've not really got the, the chance of risking that. You've got standard USB there. Um, and with, like I said, with that Eco technology, it doesn't take an awful long time to, to charge at all. Um, and once you've got it charged it'll last you a full day of vaping uh, even if you're on the heavier side of smoking I would say this is still going to last you that full day with the use um, it's it's a fantastic SIG as a starting point or even as something as small and discreet for either taking out or if you don't want to produce the clouds if you're using a, a larger device um, but it's definitely one that I w would recommend um, like I said personally it isn't for me um, it's not powerful enough it's not doesn't produce enough vapor um i don't sort of stick with these kind of devices if i go for something like this i'm more inclined to go for a pod device um but i prefer the higher cloud chasing stuff that produces mass amounts of flavor and vapor but mm -hmm. the flavor these atomizers give is actually really really good and um, really really nice um and the vapor it produces you can compare it to a, a normal cigarette um, and the liquid consumption that is a big selling point for it it doesn't batter through your liquid like other kits do um, with that eco technology it's a fantastic new design that is being used in quite a few sigs now um, so yeah definitely one that I would check out and as you can see keep calm and vape on As always, down in the description below, I'm going to link up the website for Tech, the electronic cigarette company. They sell the Joytech Ego AIO Eco, um, along with the atomizers that go with it and all the spurs. Um, if you go onto their website, put everything in your basket and get to your checkout. If you use code DMV20, you'll get 20% off all fully priced items. It's a brilliant offer. Um, I'm going to link up the Instagram and the Facebook for Dead Man's Vapes as well. Uh, there's daily content on there, all sorts, pictures, videos, check it out and um, give me any comments or feedback i do like interacting with people on there i do um, reply to all the comments that i can as quick as i can uh, and all the messages as well uh, and if you could share those channels out give me a follow it would be absolutely fantastic same most importantly with the youtube as well um, my views are slowly taking off and getting a lot more on there um, but i just need those subscriptions if you could subscribe to the channel get those numbers up there it would be absolutely fantastic the further we reach out the better it's going to be um, but I'm going to crack on with some more videos. I've got some interesting new kits on the way. Um, some very, very nice kits, to be honest. Um, so we'll see how they go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.